Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing my review of the Little Big Shot Super Nozzle. I picked this up yesterday at my local tractor supply for about $10, and after looking at the packaging, there's a few things that really stood out to me. The first is that it will not leak, which, you know, is a pretty substantial claim to make, but we're going to put that to the test later on this video. I think that the clamping force and the way this is designed will allow it to completely clamp shut. But I have a water nozzle here that puts out about 150 PSI. So if it's going to leak, that will make it leak. And secondly, it is made in the USA, which I think is great with any company these days that can afford to make their products in the USA and still compete out there. They were able to do that with this particular water nozzle. And the most important fact is that it's assembled by disabled US veterans. So the company that makes this, KCO Products, is supporting our veterans, and I'm proud to support them. So I'm gonna show you now how well this works, and I'm gonna show you the different nozzle settings. They have a power sweep, a spray, and a pinpoint nozzle setting, as well as all the way closed. I'm gonna hook that up to a garden hose and just show you how far the water will shoot through it. And, you know, if you look at the very slim profile on this, it basically spins right on the end of the garden hose and only sticks out about two inches. So it is very small compared to a conventional water nozzle. So sit back and watch how good the Little Big Shot Super Nozzle works. Okay, I have the garden hose hooked up and I'm gonna turn it on now just so you can see how far the standard water pressure will shoot out of the garden hose itself. And then I'm gonna put the Little Big Shot Nozzle in here and see what kind of difference we can see. So I'm gonna turn on the water now. And we'll watch it shoot out. So you can see I have a lot of water pressure just with this uh, uh, standard water pressure with this pump because it's before it comes into my house and hits the pressure regulator. And this is straight from the uh, water meter. So I have about 150 PSI here and you can see with a full stream, it's shooting every bit of 20 feet out. So now I'm going to take the little big shot and I'm going to screw it right on the end of the garden hose and I'm going to turn the water back on and see what kind of difference we can see. So there it is installed. You can see it's very slim right on the end. I'm going to turn on the water again. And you can see it's coming out almost like a pressure washer. Um, I don't know what setting this is. I would assume this is the power sweep setting, but we'll try to dial it down now some. Just twisting the end. Or maybe I need to twist it back. There I go. Okay. It's actually going to turn it counterclockwise. So it's making it uh, a smaller stream, and it will actually go down to a pinpoint. There it goes. Real fine if you were going to uh, water a lot of plants or something. All the way down to a small little real small little mist a pinpoint is what they call this and then you can see this I, I don't know can you see how small this uh, little stream is compared to my hand it's it's very very small and it's shooting out about 20 feet all the way down to completely closed and there is still a very fine little stream coming out of this with it being completely closed but that's because the water pressure on this particular nozzle is about 150 PSI. You're never gonna see this on a standard house or even somebody with a well, unless they have a situation like mine where a water um, uh, tap has been tapped in in between the meter and the house itself. So it is not closing completely, but I'm gonna try the same test on a faucet on the side of the house that after it hit the pressure regulator that has around 60 PSI, so about half the water pressure of this. And uh, we'll see if it'll leak then. But on extreme pressures like this 150 PSI, it does uh, still leak. And you can see it hitting my hand with a very small mist. Okay, quick update. I t let all the water pressure out of the line, then closed the little big shot completely, and then turn the water pressure back on, and it is no longer leaking. So I think it just couldn't close under that extreme force. But if it was already closed and then you turn the water on, it's not going to automatically start spraying anything out. Um, and to show you just how, what kind of water pressure you're getting, it's very similar to a pressure washer. I'm going to spray this car off 
that has been sitting uh, on this car trailer for about the last month under some trees. And you can see all of the, uh, you know, just debris off the trees all over it. So we'll see if this will just spray it off before any soap would be involved. So there's the small little mist. You can see it, uh, you know, shooting out. Move up to their mid setting, which is about your standard garden hose pressure. And then we'll go into full blast, which is basically the power wash setting. So you can see if you need to spray your car off, spray salt off of it, we'll get it prepared for, uh, to wash. You know, to wash any dirt and debris off of it. Or, you know, if you're just washing your car, before you need to uh, get out the soap bucket. And with the wider setting, if you had soap on there and needed to rinse it off, this would do a great job. And still, now that I close it again, it does have that real fine little stream coming out. But uh, if you had it closed initially, it won't uh, leak out from the, from the start. But when you open it up and shut it, if you have extreme pressure like I do, it will still have a fine mist coming out. I just ran inside and got a uh, water pressure test gauge from the house. And this goes up to 200 PSI. So I'm going to take the little big shot nozzle off of the end of the garden hose now. This is from the very high pressure pump. And I'm gonna put the uh, pressure gauge on here just so you can see the water pressure that this particular pump has. So I'm gonna unscrew the little big shot. And then I'm gonna install the uh, water pressure gauge. And then I'm gonna turn the pump on and you can see just how much water pressure that this pump puts out. Okay, I have it on there. It is set to zero. And I'm going to turn on the pump now and you can watch it go up. It'll probably go up high and then it'll level off. So we'll see where it stops. What the black needle is on, which the black needle is on zero right now, that's the one you need to watch because that is the current water pressure. So I'm going to turn this on now. <clears throat> and here's the water pressure on this pump. Just went up to 160. And it's leveling off right about... 150 right about 150 you can see it's holding so it's above 140 and it is slightly uh, below 160 with these outside water pumps they do leak around the uh, actual post that goes up a frost-free faucet like this it will leak water pressure out right there so it's not a sealed uh, system through the water line but you can see that it is still above 140 PSI and it was up above 160 when I first turned it on. I hooked the same exact hose up to the side of my house on a frost-free faucet. This faucet is going to be hooked into the internal water system inside the house after the pressure regulator. So it's not going to have that extreme pressure that the outside pump had. And I hooked the same exact um, pressure test up to it. You can see right now it's on zero. And I'm going to turn this all the way on, and you'll see what the water pressure is coming out of the faucet on the side of your house. So I'll turn this on now, fully open, and we'll watch the water pressure on here. And if you can see this, it's only a little above 40 PSI, maybe 42. It looks like it's going to get up to about 45 PSI, and that's going to max out. So that is really only um, not even one third of the water pressure that we were getting outside. So I'm gonna do the same test now with just the hose with an open end to see how far the water's gonna shoot. And then also with the little big shot nozzle. Okay, first we're gonna try it with no nozzle on the end, just the bare hose and see how far that'll shoot with this low water pressure. I'm turning the faucet on now. And you can see at full blast with the same hose, it might be going at a horizontally six or eight feet at most. So this is nothing that you're going to be able to really wash your car with effectively, but this is standard water pressure with a uh, house. So typically what I would do is hold my thumb over the end, and that would allow me to make the stream go out further. 
or I would use a, a spray nozzle. I don't really like the plastic spray nozzles because my dogs get a hold of them and chew them up, or they will split and crack if you drop them on the pavement. So you can see while this is effective, it's not gonna be nearly as effective as something with more pressure. So that's where that little big shot's gonna come into play. Next, I'm gonna show you the little big shot installed and we'll see how far that water pressure is gonna shoot. Okay, with the little big shot installed, there is no mist coming out whatsoever. Um, it was the same way with the high water pressure because I turned the water pressure on with it already closed, but we're gonna see at the end of this if it's gonna end up leaking when I try to shut it at the end. So now we'll try the different settings with this, the pinpoint, the sweep, and then the, um, the, the spray. So low, medium, and high. So starting out with low, we'll just barely crack this open. And it's shooting out a fine mist at least 15 or 20 feet. Um, you can see it go, go this way. I'll slowly open it up more. Now it's a uh, much uh, stronger mist coming out or spray that you would use if you were uh, watering flowers or something. This is not gonna be enough pressure to damage your flowers. And opening it up more, if you were watering maybe a bush or something like that or your grass, but then when we go into the full mode, you can see how far it's shooting out. So it's increasing that water pressure and that the water volume is not gonna be increasing, but because it's making a smaller stream, instead of going six or eight feet, it's going about 25 feet out. So for this little $10 nozzle, I really am very happy with it. And I think that, you know, it's gonna be something I'll use with washing cars primarily, but if I wanted to spray off the side of the house or if I wanted to clean out my gutters or something, it'd be very easy to do something with uh, this much water pressure. So our final test is gonna to be to close this and see if it actually closes where it would not fully close under the extreme water pressure. But with roughly 45 uh, PSI, we'll see if it'll close all the way this time, which is what I really think it would be designed for. So turning it counterclockwise, goes all the way and it, it completely closed before I had it uh, spun all the way down. So it's aiming at the camera and there's nothing coming out. So, you know, I'm fairly confident that it will hold. And uh, the little big shot made in the USA, it's assembled by disabled US veterans. And I really am proud that they are going out of their way to employ those guys and girls. And I'm happy that I bought this yesterday and I think that it's gonna last me a long time. So if you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.